Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name's Heather, Heather Thomas. I'm the Songbird Stamper. I'm just bringing you a quick video showing you how to make a double diamond fold card. The video is accompanying a blog post, so if you'd like more information and pictures, please do check out the blog uh, over at www.thesongbirdstamper.co.uk. Um, I'll put the link to the blog post in the comments in the section below in the description, so you'll be able to access the blog post through there um, but some of the things are a little bit hard to describe in the written word so I thought I'd pop on and show you a quick video I've got a piece of card it's Rococo Rose card 12 inches by 6 inches line it up with the top edge along the top and using the stylus handy little stylus fits in here when you're not using it just pull it pull it out score at three inches four and a half inches seven and a half inches and nine inches again all the directions will be over on my blog what i'm going to do then is just make a little mark so i've been using the thick end of the stylus you get a thick end and a thin end i've been using the thick end just with the thin end then just mark up one and a half inches and ten and a half inches rotate the card around 180 degrees one and a half and ten and a half just make a small mark then spin the card around 90 degrees to the short edges at the top and mark at 3 inches. Spin that round 180 degrees and mark at 3 inches. The Simply Scored scoring tool is such a handy item to use. And you can see here what I've done is just take my chalk marker and run my chalk marker down to give myself a nice line all the way down. That really helps with this next bit where we're going to line up. So I hope you can see I've got score marks. One, two, one, two. What we're going to do is use this second score mark okay, at the top here. And I'm going to line that up onto this chalked marker line. And I'm going to line this mark here, which was the mark we made at 10.5 inches. And I'm going to line that up on the bottom side here. And then I'll take my thick end of my stylus again and run that through. Spin it round so that you've got the same second score line in on this bottom line here, ten and a half inch mark up here, and score that through. Rotate the card round 180 degrees and do the same. From the second score line in to the ten and a half mark, score, move it round here, so ten and a half mark up the top second score line in at the bottom i hope you can see the light is terrible today um i've been prepping for an online kit craft class and everything's kind of getting away from me a little bit time wise so i'm hoping you can see again over on the blog there are pictures um, but i just wanted to show you how to do that bit there so i'm done with my simply scored scoring tool i'm going to bring in my paper trimmer you could do this scoring on your paper trimmer uh, I just find that kind of when I'm doing a lot of scoring can be a little bit easier on the uh, scoring tool there. Here I'm going to line up the three inch mark that we made on the end and the score line that we've just made, both along my cutting guide here. This time we're going to cut because I need to turn this into diamond shape. It's a double diamond, actually it probably should be called a triple diamond because we're going to make three diamonds. And again, lining up this point here and this score line that we just made. Try and be as neat as possible, as accurate as possible. I really haven't been there. I can't really see what I'm doing with the camera in the way. So I'm just going to bring in my mini chopper. This is a brilliant tool. It's available as, as a demonstrator supply item. So if you would like one of these, get in touch. About £10 this little one so cute again lining up the three inch mark that we made on the end here and the end of that score line bring that through trim it off and then lining up this section here so it's a little bit neater So you're left with that shape. I'm going to try and show you how to do the folds. So this is the finished card. I didn't show you that at the beginning. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I hope you like it. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is copy these folds. So we've got a mountain fold and a mountain fold. And then these are valley folds. The diagonals. And then this is a mountain fold as well. So all the straight lines are mountain folds. So mountain, 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 mountain. And then valleys. For your diamonds. Okay, and then that will close up and you can fold and burnish, you can burnish rather all those score lines. That will fold up into this lovely little double diamond fold card. Okay, so your straight lines mountains, and a mountain is where it kind of comes over on itself and it looks like a actually looks like a mountain, and then the diagonal lines are valley folds and they'll fold in on themselves. Just like that. Next up I'm just going to show you quickly how to make the paper, um, the design series paper for here. I have got two pieces of design series paper. You would need three. Measuring five and three quarters by two and three quarters. So two and three quarters by five and three quarters. Okay we're going to make a mark at the halfway point on all four sides. Okay, you can do this with your trimmer if you'd like, or your ruler and your pencil, or you can do it the cheats way, which is just to fold it in half and make a little mark. I might need to bring my big light in so I can see what I'm doing though, to be honest, because the next thing you need to do is you need to cut between these. So we've made a little mark halfway Hoping you don't see my head. Just trying to bring in a little more light so I can see. And then trim that down. Don't don't mess up these bits because we need to keep these. Especially if you're working with double sided paper or designer series paper. That has got a beautiful pattern on both sides. So you're just working around, you marked off halfway on all four sides. A pencil and a ruler would be better, but if you're being very lazy, you can do it this way. Or if you don't have a pencil and a ruler. These will then fit inside those diamonds. Okay. If you've cut them neatly and correctly, they'll fit neatly and correctly inside those diamonds. There we go. All right. What I'm going to do now is show you how to stick these bits in, and I'm going to fold them, turn them around. And I'm going to line them up in here, but you are going to need to trim off some of this bottom bit. So I'm just going to line that up in my trimmer. Again, you can take your time and you can get this really accurate. And then that fits in this gap here. And you'll do that for all of these. Okay, so they will all be going in here. The diamonds are going in here. I just need to show you how to make this one now because you'd repeat the same on the other side. So I'm going to take my piece of card, uh, my piece of paper, and I'm going to do this one properly, she says. I'm going to take a pen. You would use a pencil, but I'm going to use a pen so that you can see it. So Two and three quarter inches is seven centimetres, so we need to line that up at three and a half centimetres and make a mark top and bottom. 
five and three quarters is 14.6 centimeters. So we're going to line that up at 7.3 centimeters and make a mark top and bottom. I guess this is the other way of doing it if you want to spend a little bit more time and get it really accurate. And then you can do exactly as before. Cut this from point to point, from line to line. You'll have a few more triangles which you don't necessarily need to keep because we should already have filled up all of our triangle sections. Now if I cut this directly in half, it's going to be too big. I'll show you. So I've lined it up and cut this directly in half. It's going to be just ever so slightly too big. You might be happy with it and, th and then you can get away with it, but it's ever so slightly too big to fit in these little triangular sections, or these half diamond sections here. So if you need to, actually that one fits really well, but if you needed to, all you would do is line that up on your trimmer so that uh, some of it, if I lift that up, you might just be able to see, so some of it is just over the cutting guide because we only want to trim off just a little slither. Okay, we're just literally taking off a tiny slither and then that will fit much neater into our side panel there. The instructions on how to get the main panel, they're all over on the blog or I'll pop the measurements. I'll probably pop the measurements in below just in case you don't have the time to head over to the blog but this is the finished card let's get rid of all this mess here i hope you like it a double diamond fold card thank you so much for watching it's been a pleasure enjoy the rest of your day take care and i'll see you again very soon bye